Okay, so um, I feel like I have to make this video. So, what's the recording date? 12th of December, no, 4th of December 2023. 4th of December. Okay, uh, I want to title this video. Uh, MH three seventy. Uh, you know the deers. Oh, should I directed energy weapons? Oh, well, yeah, we have orbs. 911 connecting the dots uh there's a lot of compelling evidence to show that uh well, Malaysian eh, airlines which, Right. She was a uh, subject to a an attack by advanced <laughs> what I would call advanced technology of unknown origin this tech the tech can be human or non-human alien tech uh, basically so I'll, I'll link to the video if you want to watch and actually follow this follow the this Twitter channel account for relevant info. There you go. And I'll link it to this Twitter. This person has been uh, very strongly and uh, credibly with uh, making a case for this point uh, so I would encourage you to follow this account and I guess uh, as long as it's linked to a video sort of outlines it I guess there here's another direct link to it uh, I think they have yeah they have a YouTube channel you can follow the information there as well. So this is showing orbs, mm, perhaps you know like spheres. This is the orb tech. This is like objects, spheres, possibly controlled by AI. Uh, Teleporting the plane out of space time and possibly uh, take um, placing it at another point in space time. So it could be another location and time. Uh, so there's a lot of discussions on this. Uh, now Lahaina, of, of course, I've, I've talked about it before, uh, about how there's, a, you know, the attack on the... Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm going to get attacked. Uh, what what uh, date is that Lahaina event? A fire date. August 8th. August 8th. 
August 8. Early morning hours of August 8. Hmm. So Lahaina happened on August 8. Mm. Happened on August 8. I think I want to look at the dates because I believe this, which is a which I personally <laughs> believe uh, is a directed energy weapon attack orchestrated possibly by the same people or agents involved in the MH 370 event and if you look back about what happened uh, that was about a chronology on July the UFO hearing when was that UFO hearing day when was that I'm going to read. I mean, what date? Was it 26 July? Or when was the date? Oh. June. Was it July? Uh, July. Happened in July, exact date. What's the twenties? Uh, twenty sixth, July twenty sixth, right? So the the, the, the dates are the July twenty sixth, twenty twenty three. Lahaina happened on August eighth, twenty twenty three. The MH370 videos were originally leaked onto the web in March of 2014, uh, allegedly, um, allegedly, because uh, as noted on the, as noted on the. Uh, on the descri description, as as noted on the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel of the original leaker of the leaker, so which is a which is a few days after the event. What was the event? Oh, anyway, um, and this video. When was the, the, because the MH370 video, August, June. It was a Reddit post sent on August 7, 2023 on the subreddit RUFOs. So this was uh, on August 7th, 2023. This was again, apparently, uh, so after a hiatus of all these years, around August 7th, someone uploaded to the subreddit um, UFOs this video. Okay, so someone wanted interest in this to be reignited. And either I don't know what uh, what other time whether this was all if it was August eight, which uh, you know time uh, was a Universal Standard Time or Eastern Standard Time. So it could be that. See how close the dates are: August seven, August eight. Maybe what I'm trying to do is connect the dots here. Is that maybe someone? My conjecture. Someone in the know uh, 
found out that Lahaina was hit with the dew and out of moral outrage leaked the MH uh, reposted reposted the MH370 videos onto the UFOs subreddit to suggest that there is some connection going here and and if you look about nine and and the reason i bring up 9 11 is in 2001 in 2001 there was a ufo hearing in washington uh, it's called uh and, and there there was this huge event where people were uh like it was called a congressional in 2001 it's by Stephen Greer and I'll sort of oh no this is this is a new one this is the um... oh, here we go this is the a... in May 10 tw 2001 so 20 you know I'll link this a group calls for disclosure about UFO and these people are Okay, it was it was held at the National Press Club in Washington. Anyway, let me just link this. Uh, let me just link this. So in, in in so that was in May. Apparently, it was in May, right? Yeah, May two thousand and one. And in September two thousand one, yeah, we had the nine eleven, right? So every time when someone tries to expose the ufo phenomenon the people who want to keep it a secret do something to prevent the disclosure so my my conspiracy or opinion is that these major world events or tragedies are a response to UFO disclosure uh, to prevent UFO disclosure. Um, this is my argument. That's what I'm saying. And the reason I'm co I'm going to connect. Uh, I'm going to connect the reason. There is a because people say in 9/11 planes crashed into the towers i read a comment i read a comment someone left a very a comment that sort of um that made me think they said that if if the orb technology that is used to hijack or teleport the planes and the way they teleport the planes you have three orbs Apparently, this is how it goes. Three orbs uh, find the, you know, they, they, they locate, they sort of uh, triangulate, triangulate, if you will, the orb target. And a fourth orb uh, is where the target will reappear. So you could see maybe what they did with 9-11 is used orbs to teleport planes from one location location and uh, and uh, aimed the planes at the towers uh, using the fourth orb you see this is what I'm thinking happened they they used that the planes weren't hijacked by these guys and that was just a cover-up but the actual uh, the, 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 the planes were zapped out of thin air or using this orb technology and they were aimed at the at the towers right 
and do and the aim or to create 911 in order to prevent 911 uh, to prevent info disclosure because why and the whole method there's a lot of speculation why um So I would encourage some some sources, or I would I would I would encourage people to check for all kinds of information like this. Is um, I would encourage people to follow these people, which I think are worth listening to, who've got the uh, who've got some kind of a. Uh, uh, idea what's going on I would say or on the got their finger on the pulse let's see who's got their finger on the pulse uh, uh, where is it? Uh, I mean there are obviously a lot more I guess okay. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm my job, or <laughs> I think the universe is telling me your job in life. Or uh, one of the things it's, it's encouraging me to share this information so we can wake people up, wake people up to the truth. Uh, we are not alone. Aliens are going to make a big splash next year no going some of the people have been following and this is to uh, so people need to wake up people need to wake up but don't freak out don't freak out uh, what else you need I guess um each human being has a soul consciousness mm, this is important work on your inner self don't focus on uh, material those are too much in the material world uh, in fact then the matrix the real matrix the matrix oh, how do i say it? the matrix is believing this material world is all there is. that is the matrix you have to you have to break through the idea that this material world is all there is there is this whole huge world of the immaterial world of soul consciousness mind that whole world is there and you need to think about that world because the aliens know it the aliens know this you know they are smarter than us they possibly even made us but and they know that consciousness is a, is a very very important thing and the people who control the cabal the the bad guys want us to believe this material world is all there is they, they know the bad guys know no consciousness oh, spirituality is important they know that what i'm suggesting you that this is i'm suggest what i'm going to say is the people at the very top seem to know or they know that consciousness is very important and significant but they don't want you to know that because if you knew that you have the power to i don't know to psychic powers for instance or to develop your own intuition and you know all of this they don't want you to know how much power you have <laughs> so they want you to believe that keep your mind on the matter anyway so um i feel like i had to make this video <laughs>